Hi guys. Uh, I'm shooting a video there <clears throat> just because I was a little bit um, aggravated with uh, the videos I find on YouTube about uh, Saturn LW200, uh, the water pump replacement. Uh, they show all kinds of water pumps like GMC, as well LW200. And uh, please excuse, it's a little bit shaky because uh, I got only two hands. So, <clears throat> by the time you get to my video here, you probably saw all the other videos. It's a 2003 Saturn LW200. I took it all apart already. You know, it was uh, quite some project, it's going on and on, and then it got cut out by rain. So, here are my findings. All this, for example. It's the same than the guy on a GMC motor shows, because uh, from what I understand, since it's a Saturn, it's GMC anyway. So this, I took it all apart. Of course, there's the exhaust manifold that has to come off first. To do that, you take the cover off, and it's held on by these two bolts. Uh, let me see, uh, one here one there and you need to, in order to get that off you need somebody to actually pull your muffler bag what I did I disconnected all the rubbers that hold the muffler on or the, the all the, the whole exhaust pipe the whole exhaust system except the last one that holds the muffler up that gives me enough play if somebody else pulls on it it pulls it back just far enough to get the exhaust manifold out because those studs, this one, those studs don't come out. You can get the nut off, but you can't get the studs out. So you need that clearance. You need that clearance here to get it out. So you need some way to pull actually the, the exhaust system off. Then you take it out. Okay, that's that. <clears throat> you don't need a terrible selection of tools. I mean, a half decent set of uh, wrenches uh, will do, socket and, and ratchet. You don't need all of that. I think the, the largest you need is a 14, but it helps to have a, a long 10. A long 10 nut here. Just because you have to get down there, I have the dragon here. Here again, like I said, you probably saw some videos before. This is the cover they were talking about. It sits in there. This is the new seal already. The old seal is uh, made of metal. I threw it out already. Um, if you probably don't even notice a difference. You think, wow, this is it, no seal, no nothing. Yeah, there is a seal. It's metal and it's just black and that's it. So I, I threw it out, put the new one on, and that sits right here, down there. And this is where they say the gear actually is attached to this part. It's in your car, like that to this. So now if you take these three screws out, which you get through that hole, which you can only get in by holding your hand sideways with the screw in your two fingers. It's really touchy. If you drop them, this is actually the, uh, what's it called, the, the timing chain housing. It's really, it's very shallow. You have no much, not too much space to work with. You drop anything in there, you're pretty much done. You gotta pull the motor because you can't get in. Now from the other side, let me see if I can show that. Let me show from the other side. Okay, now yeah. Now with the pump removed, this is actually the gear, and it's not retained. So this pretty much can fall. That's why I stuffed the, the claw 
nothing from the other side. You want to keep that in place. You don't want to jump any links on that chain because it's going to throw off this gear or any, any other gears to go with your uh, timing. And the weakest one probably will give. <coughs> okay, we got to replace, uh, not replace them, um, take off some of these hoses. I mean, this is, uh, I think, um, a 516 or something. Here are your heater hoses. They go right there where your where your where your what is it called? Thermostat is here. Yeah. Thermostat goes in here. This is the other half of this part. Make sure it's in the right way. Most common mistake, it's in the wrong way. It'll fit, but it's wrong. I replaced all the gaskets already. It was my first try. So if your if your center is leaking, I thought it's probably this. The way I found the the water comes out. It's not this. Really it's your pump. It's not the the cover. Don't lose these little spacers here, they come out pretty easy. Don't lose them, there are spacers if you put this back in place. This is the old head gasket. I recommend replacing it, just for no reason. Because it's not so bad. The new one is not much better. Just more shiny. So here again, this is then the pump, and what I found is... I thought it's leaking on this side on the bottom, but the gasket actually was good all the way around. So then if I took it out and looked at this side, there's not really anything wrong with it either. You know, keep in mind I'm not a mechanic, I have no idea, I just work my way in. But here, if I look in there, it's all gummed up and stuff. There might be, you know, Maybe some oil going in or whatever, but most likely water going out. I just ordered a new one. So this is the pump. It has to come out. And it's, oh, there's some, something else. I mean to say, uh, sure, if you look, <coughs> you got all these, all these screws here. I had to take out the air filter that sits right in here just to get space to work with and I uh, used the opportunity to organize my screws it makes sense, believe me, you're gonna take out so many screws you won't find uh, their home anymore these three actually go down in, in this hole where you hardly can reach in and can be attached through the gear in these screw holes, so you gotta find them I'm not dropping them in the housing <coughs> Yeah. And then there's a bunch of screws Hi. on the other side, like 10 millimeters. These guys here, they go right in these holes. But on you will find that you can't get the pump off because there's still three, uh, two longer screws on the other side. You can tell that they have no thread here, so they must go all the way through in to the pump. There's one here. And there's one more down there. There's none on the other side. You'll see you'll see probably one more 10 millimeter head here. One more 10 millimeter head a little bit down further. But they don't apply to that. Only this one and this one, they're both stood 13, and this one you can't even get out, this one hit the, the fender. Okay, and then this comes really right off. If you have to use any force, any kind of force, it's not right. Then you must have missed a screw. So I ordered a new one, it comes with a new gasket, which uh, is in the set that I 
gaskets that I bought anyway. And uh, I think that covers it pretty much. So all eyes also foreign in that is any any Saturn like S L or S or whatever, any year you name it, you'll find. But not the L W two hundred. And from what I understand it's still a, a GMC two point two liter motor. And this is it. So you go there, you find all the other ones, take all this out. Don't forget about that bowl on the bottom here. You got one here, one there, and there's one right on the bottom. Don't forget about it. You can't see it, but it's there. Get your thermostat in the right way. This is pretty obvious where these hoses go. Uh, those um, contacts. Don't forget where they go. I think it's a good it's a good idea to make a picture for us, a little video for yourself <laughs> to see where everything goes. If you're like me and uh, refuse to remember, so this one actually goes in here somewhere, just right after the after the um, thermostat. So don't get that confused. Put them all back on. There's one contact here that gets bolted to the pump with one of these screws. No big deal. And that's it. And I hope it helps you guys further, and especially the confusion with these <coughs> bolts and the gear coming off. Be really careful with that. If you remove these three bolts that actually hold that the drive for your pump, the gear is loose. There's no retainer there. And if you see a leak on this side of your car, Underneath the pump, it's the pump, not the cover. So don't waste any time. You're in so far with taking the exhaust manifold off and everything else. Just go the extra step, take the pump out, replace all the seals. That's what I would recommend. Alright, that's about it. I hope that helps you guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.